after completely and totally bastardizing with the help of Leo one of Michael's favorite Pantera songs it's time for the big man to get a little bit of revenge on me yes yes it is it's time for reaction everybody, my name is Whole School Nerd, that is Michael Alvarado, and this is going to be our third reaction while you're visiting here. Um, we just did Leo doing a, a very interesting, I was interesting, as an interesting cover of Pantera's effing hostile. The problem is that Michael, it's not his thing. Um, he loves Leo, he loves what Leo does, and he madly respects what Leo did. However, Michael has one rule when it comes to Pantera. You don't just don't with. mess. Yeah, you don't mess with it at all. So because I made him sit through that one, he's going to make me sit through something that he knows that I don't really care for, mm. and that's Justin <laughs> Bieber. I don't. I never have. I don't know if it's just because I have three girls, and anything that makes my girl go, ooh, I'm going to go, I hate it. I I am not a believer at all. You're not? Yeah. At but, all. But you and I both also share a love of mashups. Yes. So you're going to – so we're putting Slipknot in with Justin Bieber. Yes. Like and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. The link to this, whatever I'm about to watch, will be in the description below. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all the social media posts. The uh, Patreon channel for those who want to help support us. We appreciate every single one of you. And the merchandise store. Here we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> but at least it's only three minutes and 34 seconds. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, this would be my fastest reaction ever. Hey, I made it 11 seconds. You can go F yourself. But just a little side note to this. They announced on Twitter that they had a big announcement. It was like this little video playing and had this little white guy kind of, you know, look like he was working out. Look like he was in a boxing ring. Yeah. He was all like, but without like his fists were taped, but he didn't have gloves on. And yeah. he was all like boxing. Whatever. And then it showed up at the end of the gift. It said, Justin Bieber world tour tickets on sale now. And I had to reply to it. And I just put so yeah. Yeah, someone's gonna love. Oh, see, that's what we should have done. Skip to uh, two minutes forty seven seconds into it. It would have gone much better. Damn it, I caught it. I did my job and I went out. So if you say I'm fine, it doesn't cut. The soul is not so vibrant. The reckoning, the second name, back at Chase the Virgin. I'm going to do what my kids do to me when I want them to pay attention to me, but they'd rather listen to Justin Bieber. I'm going to do this. I'm doing the response that any, any of my kids would do to me when they don't care what I'm doing, but they'll be like, to this stuff. Honestly, I don't mind it. I really don't mind it, but you know what? I would have much rather Slipknot Psychosocial being played with, with Justin Bieber life. singing Baby, because at least you'd still have that chaos of Slipknot and him trying to sing over it. Okay. Uh, honestly, you want to know one of the real reasons why I've, I, I like this so much? Because I saw a video with Corey Taylor, who's the lead singer of Slipknot. Yeah. He absolutely loves it. Of course he does. He goes, look. Because Corey's nuts and he thinks anything that is aesthetically creates an art that either makes... Come on, have you heard his Christmas song? Oh, yeah. It's the greatest shit ever. But wait, but wait. His thing was, look, I take the piss out of a lot of people. And mm -hmm. if... Somebody takes the piss out of me and I get all butthole about it? No. That's not right. He no. goes, I think it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. So it, I was like, all right, let me check it out. No, it's funny. I, I just wish we wouldn't have had to listen to Justin Bieber 15 seconds before Corey's vocals came in. Yeah. That's my problem. I know. But this is a great song to play in the car if you have just your kids. Because yeah. the whole first 20 seconds of it is just Justin Bieber's baby. And you're thinking, 
Hey, what the hell? Yeah. And you get to see your kids in the rearview mirror go, huh? Yeah, it's great stuff. It's great yeah. stuff. Let's go. The psychosocial with the keyboards killing me. I know, right? When we recall all of the memories that I've had this weekend where you were fairly concerned that it was going to be kind of traumatizing for me, including stuff from last night and everything else, I just want to thank you for elevating it and putting it in front of my fucking face in the last three minutes. I'm sorry, two minutes and three seconds. You want to know why I know it's two minutes and three seconds? Because I'm counting this shit down, Michael. Okay, honestly, the first minute was really fun. And you're just done with it. Shit. We should replay Moist then. No. Uh... Just because it's bothering you now, I'm into it. When I was 13, I had my first love. There was nobody that compared to my baby, and nobody came between us, no could ever come above. She had me going crazy. Oh, I was starstruck. She woke me up daily. Don't need no Starbucks. She made my heart pound. And skip a beat when I see her in the street and at school on the playground. But I really want to see her on the weekend. She knows she got me dazing, because she was so amazing. And now my heart is breaking. But I just keep on saying, Honestly, I think I would have much rather um, it had been instead of Ludacris, it had been like Nelly doing this for Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, Iowa could tell Missouri to shut the fuck up. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry. And And, and you have to be a Nelly fan to to know why that even joke is even funny. And you'd also at the same time have to be a Slipknot fan to get Slipknot being from Iowa and Nelly being from St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I do jokes that are only funny to me because I'm the only person that can pull all those references out of my ass, literally. Luckily for me, it was moist. <laughs> We're getting so much trouble for that. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, only, the only reaction we've done today that isn't going to get us both in trouble, at least you get to run away, yeah. but um, it, it's going to be the, the Leo one where you were, there was like... Destroying some Pantera. Uh, We're literally over three today. Yeah. And I'm okay with it. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you. Love you, brother.